Hundreds of people will be dancing into the New Year Tuesday night at Stanford's Sheraton Hotel. Dancing New Year's Eve Connecticut will return to the city for its second year. The celebration will kick off with dance lessons and include dinner, an open bar, and a midnight toast. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we start with a beginner salsa lesson, followed by a beginner hustle lesson, followed by a beginner West Coast swing lesson. We have singles and couples and even family units uh, stop by and they take the lessons and then they're able to meet each other. So it's a really great way to interact with people on a very easy, simplistic level. Navoa owns Swing Shoes Entertainment in Norwalk where he gives dance lessons with his wife, Anna. They say they came up with the idea for dancing New Year's Eve so their dancers could have somewhere to celebrate the holiday. So we started this as a way to offer um, a social opportunity for our local dance community in Connecticut that's a little bit different from the bar scene. And then we uh, are also inviting the general population from Connecticut to join in the social event, take dance lessons, and and participate in the evening. We have people coming from New Jersey, Massachusetts, of course Connecticut, uh, New York, Brooklyn, Long Island. The Navoa say last year's event brought close to 200 people to the Sheraton. They say they expect roughly the same amount of attendees this year. It was very successful. People were really excited about it. And the next day we looked at each other and said, you know, hey, let's, let's, do, it let's again. do it again. <laughs> we feel strongly that dance does bring people together, all different backgrounds, all different lifestyles, uh, all different beliefs. And, and you can put that all in one room together and people can really celebrate uh, doing things together. To register or for more information, visit DancingNewYearsEveCT.com.